My gosh. I have no idea what's going on right now. That hill was huge. Oh my gosh. I just got this car. And now my entire side pocket. Look at this hail. Oh, look at the size of that. All right, let's get out of here. I have one client left to see. And I'm going to get down with this day. I'm sitting on hail and it's cold. Now the sun's out. This weather's confusing. You want to see my car? <laughs> of course it's trashy. That's my car. It is a Ford Focus ZTW station wagon, 2004. I love it. I never realized how much I really wanted a station wagon. I go to this dealership and I see my dream car, which was a Mazda 6 station wagon. It was so beautiful. I'm going to insert a picture of the same type of vehicle that I saw at the yard right here. When I test drove it, it kind of had like a really weird sound. And the dealership was like, oh, it's just, it's just the ball bearing and we'll replace it. My friend who was with me, her dad is a mechanic. She's like, uh, I'm going to bring my dad out here. And he, and he comes out and he looks at it and he goes, it is more than just the ball bearing. It's the axle. The axle is broken. I'm like, these people were trying to sell me a broken vehicle. So then I spent the next, I would say probably two weeks looking for a Mazda 6 station wagon. And all of them are in Seattle, Mount Vernon, Portland. So I decided to take a day off, which is tomorrow, to go to Portland to get my Mazda 6 station wagon. And as the days crept up, I looked online and it was sold. And I didn't want to go to Seattle. I, I've been to Seattle before. And I'm ugh. I want to go to, you know, Olympia. I don't want to go anywhere except whatever is available here. So then I started looking, and I'm like, okay, let's look for a station wagon. And lo and behold, I searched for a station wagon, and this came up. This Ford Focus station wagon, which I never knew Ford even made station wagons, except, I don't know, like in the 50s. And I got it for a very reasonable price. I love this car so much. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thursday. We had some crazy weather, but the thing is, is that hail falling from the sky like that isn't out of the ordinary. At least in my recollection, I've seen it at least two to three, no more than that, gosh, maybe five or six times in the last couple of months. Um, but this particular hailstorm went on for the entire day, off and on. Even in some uh, places along, uh, coming from the north side to the south side, there were patches of hail. I would see it in the distance, and I would drive through just a patch of hail, and that would be it, and then it would clear up, and I would see another patch. I don't know. I don't know if it's due to climate change. I don't know if it's just due to the end times. I don't know. It's something. Um, so, other than that, we're here to read 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's begin with verse 1. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am a jealous, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. I think I'm using that word right So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. That's interesting. The simplicity that is in Christ. Hmm. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye received another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. 
for I suppose I was not a whit behind the very chiefest apostles. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. I have committed an offense in abusing, or abasing, excuse me, abasing myself, that ye might be exalted, because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely. I robbed at the churches, taking wages of them to do you service. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren, which came from Macedonia, supplied. And in all things I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you. And so will I keep myself. As the truth of Christ is in me, no man shall stop me from this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Wherefore, because I love you not, God knoweth. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found, even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if this ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise, yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself a little. That which I speak, I speak it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting, Seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. For ye suffer fools gladly, seeing you yourselves are wise. For ye suffer if a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take of you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face. I speak of concerning reproach, as though we had been weak. Howbeit, whereinsoever any is bold, I speak foolishly. I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors more abundant in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths oft. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and day I have been in the deep, in journeyings often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak, and am I not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? And I burn not. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed for ever for forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. In Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king kept the city of Damascus with a garrison, desirous to app to apprehend me, and through a window in the basket was I let down by a wall and escaped his hands. Paul suffered, and yet he's saying, suffering for the Lord's glory. How many times have we suffered for being Christians and we give up so easily? I mean, if you just read between, I don't know, the entire chapter, you will realize that Paul has been through 
way more than I think a lot of us can really fathom. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.